What's going on guys? Welcome back to week 5 match day predictions. Now just before we get into the video, please like the video. Obviously it would help the uh, channel a lot and subscribers are trying to hit a thousand subscribers as quick as possible and mean the world to me so hit the like button and subscribe please. So the day you're watching it they've got we've got four fixtures tonight I think and then um about six I think it's six fixtures tomorrow night. I think that's how it yeah, I think that that's how it goes. So four fixtures tonight and six fixtures tomorrow night. So let's start with the ones tonight. Now the first one is obviously Derby Ipswich. Now um Derby getting battered against Leeds and losing to Millwall. I can I can see him going to win this one actually. Ipswich have um, been very bang average so far. They've got a very good draw against Villa on the weekend with 10 men and uh, you've got to give them like um, credit for that because Villa are a good team this year again so um, they did well to get a draw out of that one especially with 10 men but I can see them going to um, Pride Park tonight and losing I'm, I'm going to go for a Derby 2-1 win now moving on to QPR versus Bristol City now QPR having one of the worst defeats in, in the championship I've ever seen 7-1 away at West Brom I think it was 3-1-1 one, one at half time, I think, or 3 one something at half time where they could have got themselves back into the game and got a result out of it, but they just led their own mistakes and things like that and gave the ball away, stupid defensive errors, and that's what led to West Brom winning by that margin, but they've got to step up, and especially against the Bristol City side that are good but haven't really hit it off in the championship so far this season. This is the chance to get back on the, on track, but I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw in this one. Now moving on to Rotherham versus Hull. Now Rotherham, obviously, um, one of the back theories to go down and say it every time I make one of these videos against Hull, who haven't really impressed again so far this season. But I'm going to back Rotherham to go get the win in this one, actually. At home, relegation team, they, they're going to need to make that place a fortress. So um, I'm going to go for a Rotherham 1-0 win. Now moving on to one of the most exciting games that could have been made at this point of the season, which is Swansea and Leeds. Now, uh, Leeds, obviously, 100% so far, three games, three wins. They've looked sick. And I'm saying that because it's the truth. They have battered everyone they've come up against. They play nice football, scoring goals, not conceding many. Against the Swansea team that got relegated last year, everyone thought would struggle this year, but they've started off very well and unbeaten so far this season. I think two wins and a draw. So, uh, it'll be a great game. But with the form that they're currently in. I've got to go Leeds again. It could end up going Swansea. It could up and end up being a draw. But I just I've got to go Leeds just because the form they're in. So I'm going to go for a three-one away win for Leeds. Now moving on to Aston Villa versus Brentford, which is the starting of the fixtures tomorrow night. So um, Villa obviously getting a disappointing result on the weekend, a one-one draw away at ten man Ipswich. But they are a good team, and I can see them pulling through in this one. Brentford of Started off very well again this year. A few good results and um, Neil Mopay looks to be on fire. But I'm going to go for a Villa 2-0 home win. Now moving on to Blackburn versus Reading. Reading, in my opinion, looks shocking. They didn't do anything against us last week. Um, they've just not hit the ground running in the championship so far under Clement. And um, they're going to struggle this year, in my opinion. So... Um, I'm going to go for a Blackburn 2-0 win in this one. Now moving on to Bolton versus Birmingham. Now Bolton is surprising me a lot. I think they've already got two wins under the boats, especially that one on the opening day away at West Brom. They're, they're, they're looking good, Bolton are. So um, against a Birmingham team that Forrest have got on the on Saturday and I can see us getting a win. Um, I just can't see Birmingham doing much this season again under Monk. They're just, they've not got the players, in my opinion, to go do anything. So I'm going to go for a... Bolton 2-1 winning this one. Now moving on to Norwich Preston. Now I can see this being a such a tight game. Very similar teams as in disciplined and things like that. If you, Preston, the more the more disciplined team out of the two and things like that. But Norwich have played well this year. They've they've um, obviously took West Brom to the like deep shattered deep waters in their game. And only lost it 4-3 at home. But it shows they can score goals, but also they can see goals. So um, I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw in this one. Now moving on to the penultimate game. Sheffield Wednesday versus Millwall. Millwall obviously getting the 2-1 win last time out away uh, uh, against Derby. And uh, Sheffield Wednesday losing, I think it might have been 2-0 at Brentford, I'm pretty sure. So uh, Sheffield, Sheffield Wednesday have not started the season well at all. They've just had their embargo lift, I think. So um, could be good news for the obviously loan window and then um, January transfer window. But 
whether that gives them a bit of confidence on the pitch or not, I'm not sure because they've been playing shocking on the pitch. So um, I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw in this one. Now moving on to the final game and it is Stoke City versus v Wigan and I back Stoke in this one. Wigan absolutely battered Forest on the weekend but it's still shown they're a bit weak at the back because we could penetrate them and get chances if you know what I mean. We didn't get many chances but we got chances. And uh, against that Stoke team, I don't think you'll be able to give them any chances away. Especially at Stoke as well. Whether Wigan can go there and play nice football like they did against Forest, I'm not too sure. Stoke haven't started the best, but they've got a quality team. So I can see Stoke getting the 2-1 win in this one. But that's going to do it for the end of the video. If you enjoyed, then drop a like below. Subscribe if you haven't, as we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. And until then, see ya.